you know, seems like it's been a long time since we didn't play the Baltimore Ravens, don't it? Seems like we didn't came a long way since week one having the Cleveland Browns. Now let's take a moment to just appreciate this season and how far we've came since that first week. Let's take a moment just to reflect on the first game of the season to where we stand right now. I don't know if anybody over there smoke marijuana, the good ganja, the chronic, the Buddha, the greenery, the gas factory, the gas station, loud pack. That calm down. I don't know if any of y'all doing that, but right now, I'm over here in Las Vegas, city of dreams, where you can have your dreams come true or you can go straight down the drain. But right now, as of the Cleveland Browns fan, the mad Cleveland Browns fan, I'm having an amazing time in Las Vegas because guess what? I got some winning tickets for my Cleveland Browns already. So I'm having an amazing time right now just thinking about how far we done came since the first game since the Baltimore Ravens and we was all wondering what we were going to look like this was like this was like centuries ago doesn't it feel like that Cleveland Brownies <laughs> I'm just saying baby that first game out of the Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens look let's think about it the first game of the year I mean we was all 0-0 you know like I said, next game, man, one game at a time. It don't matter if you win by one, if you win by 50. We don't get a loss, a tie, or a W. And as of right now, since the first game of the season, Baltimore Ravens, Cleveland Browns, who has the most Ws? Pause for the cause. For my dogs. So, I come from a place of like, like I said, I did some time behind the walls. There's a lot of men out there that done some, a little time, maybe county time, prison time, juvie time, whatever it was. But when you're locked up, man, all you do as a man, you look at that, that television and you watch sports all day, every day. And I know there's a lot of my dogs that's locked up right now. That's so excited to watch this game Monday night against the dang on Baltimore Ravens in Cleveland, Ohio. First Energy Stadium. Woo! Don't that sound good? Nine and three. Going against the Cle... Uh, hold on. Somebody's walking past. Uh, walking by. I thought that was a Browns fan. Walking by. Uh, shit. Two conversations at once. Somebody was just talking to me through the window. You probably seen it. But don't pay that no attention. They understood it was going down in here. They seen a dog in here. We play the Baltimore Ravens, man. We're nine and three, baby. And we got Monday night football. We got Cleveland Browns fans all over the United States of America and farther over the seas, the oceans, and all up in the clouds. Graveyards. We have some family members that have that prayed to see the Cleveland Browns win a Super Bowl. And I'm and I'm telling you right now, man, I'm doing this one right here, baby. I'm about to take this next puff of this good green. What are we smoking on? What's this called? Corn rose. Corn rose. Rose like the flower. Rose like the flower. You heard her. And that's my mad Cleveland Browns fan not mad person on my side my side woo, 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 woo. <laughs> yeah she's nice she's not mad see she's laughing this is not a laughing matter is it Cleveland dogs you see she got that brown and orange on but anyway let me, let me go ahead and pass this and take this smoke for everybody what's a demisexual hold on I'm gonna be sorry here. thank you that smoke that choke right there it's for all of the dogs that did not get to make it on this earth. Don't worry about it. They're still here watching the Cleveland Browns do what they do. 
They watching us do what we do, baby. And Jim Brown is about to be handing us the trophy himself. That you know when we win this Super Bowl, that you know Jim Brown is gonna be the one that's about to be handing that trophy to um, Nick Chubb. You know it's going to Nick Chubb. You know Nick Chubb's going over a thousand yards this year, and Kareem Hunt. Because soon as one of them hit a thousand, they're going to let up off the reins, and then they're going to let the other one hit a thousand. And then you know what's going to happen? They're going to be like, okay, we both got a thousand. Now it's time for you to get that rushing title. And somebody's going to get the touchdown rushing title. Somebody's going to get the touchdown rushing title. And somebody's going to get the yards rushing title. And the Browns is about to bring that Super Bowl home. I mean, come on, man. Let's think about it, man. Think about the first game. I keep telling y'all. Think about it. Look where we are now. Look at our roster then. Look at our roster now. Look at that first game's performance in Baltimore. Now we're in Cleveland, baby. We're in Cleveland. Look at what the what all the sports commentators and all the broadcasters got to say now. That's a real woman. Shake and bake's wife came out there and she said, Shut it up! Shut it up, Stephen A. And I'm saying it too. Side note. If any of y'all Cleveland dogs live in Atlanta, Georgia, and you come across a rapper named Young Scooter, he had a uh, 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 he had a saying in a song I just listened to his new on his neck his mixtape I just listened to. Young Scooter, let me pass this to you, baby. Young Scooter, we have rap beef. You said uh, 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 you was rapping, and I was loving the mixtape. Me and my girl was having a good time to see a mixtape, Young Scooter, and then all of a sudden you said something about the Browns not being good, like that was a hotline in your song, and I pressed pause for the call. And I thought about my dogs. And I said, we got rat beef. So this is what we about to do right now, young Scooter. If anybody is from Atlanta and you're watching this and you are a dog like I am, we don't play that. I'm telling you, we, when we hold this Super Bowl up, when we hold this AFC Championship trophy up against all you haters out there, I want to go first for first with you, young Scooter. I'm calling you out right now. I'm going to go first for first. Atlanta Falcons, Young Scooter against the Mad Dog. Ugh! I'm thinking about the verse right now. What I'm going to say, babe? Atlanta Falcons ain't got nothing on the Browns. When we come downtown Atlanta, you know we bringing a whole dog pound. Ah! That was dope. What you want, I was Scooter? Say, after you said that part about uh, what was the first line? Atlanta Falcons ain't got nothing on the Browns. Yeah, the Atlanta Falcons ain't got nothing on the Browns. What you want now? Right, birds eat dogs, not the other. Dogs eat birds. Ooh. Dogs eat birds, not the other way around. Cleveland Browns against the Atlanta Falcons. The mad Cleveland Browns fan. <laughs> against Young Scooter in a versus battle. We gonna wrap it off, baby. We gonna wrap it off. You get all your Atlanta Falcons, boys, whatever. I'm gonna go and get all the dogs, and we about to have a versus just like Jeezy and Gucci. Don't you ever talk about my Cleveland Browns. Don't you ever put none. I'm gonna tell you, this is right here. This is just a, this is for any other rapper out there that ever think y'all wanna put the Cleveland Brown thing in y'all song and try to disrespect my Cleveland Browns. We about to go first for verse. And I'm starting with Young Scooter. And actually, no matter of fact, I'm about to listen to every song that anybody has ever wrote in your life. And if you got a, a, a anything in that song that's trying to disrespect my Cleveland Browns, we going verse for verse. And I want to... Um... I want Ice T and Snoop Dogg to be the judges. Let's go dogs. Hey.